and welcome to Woburn. I'm uh, Mayor Mike Concannon. I took office in January and um, I say a lot, I get to do a lot of really cool things as the mayor, but uh, this is right up there near the top. Uh, Woburn is very, very happy to, uh, to host this event, this company, and of course our governor and her team. So uh, welcome governor, welcome uh, Secretary Howe, Secretary Tepper, our state delegation as well, Rich, Michelle, we appreciate you being here. We have council members here as well. Um, we are very excited to have you here, and as I say, we're very excited to have Boston Metal in Woburn. We learned a lot this morning. I can tell you I learned a lot more than I knew about Boston Metal. Uh, it's all good. It's exciting. And I'm thrilled to have discussions about them expanding their base here in Woburn, if not Woburn, at least Massachusetts, <laughs> but ideally Woburn. We believe we have a great location here. Uh, this part of, of North Woburn is ripe for redevelopment. We've got the Regional Transportation Center here. We've got a new bridge being built. We would love for Boston Metal to expand right where they are. I will say that, uh, in general, uh, building a more sustainable future requires new approaches to product development and manufacturing. And it's exciting to see Woburn become a hub for climate green tech companies. We have a thriving workforce. As I said, close proximity to major highways and transportation and a spirit of innovation which we're trying to foster. We're honored when trendsetters like Boston Metal make Woburn their home. So with that, I say again, welcome, and it's my honor to introduce to you the Honorable Governor Mar Healy. Thank you so much, Mayor Concannon. It is great to be here in Woburn. Go Tanners! Uh, wonderful to be joining you alongside members of the City Council and Economic Development, and of course, our wonderful colleagues in the legislature, Rep. Rich Haggerty, Rep. Michelle Chicola. Thank you so much for your partnership, and uh, thank you very much for um, for inviting us here today to Tadeo and all the folks at Boston Metal. This was a really special tour, really special visit, really special things happening here. So I want to thank Tadeo, uh, Fernanda, and Katie Ray from The Engine um, for all they do in partnership to make things like this possible right here in Massachusetts. Uh, let me just say a couple things. Um, first of all, I, I want the public to know it probably didn't realize. Do you know that steel was first manufactured in the United States of America in Massachusetts? Before the United States was the United States, we were making steel here, the very first place in what is now the United States to do so. So it's only appropriate on the eve of the 250th anniversary of the revolution that we be here today in Woburn celebrating Boston Metal which is an incredibly innovative company that will change the world by innovating how we produce steel here and around the world in a way that will help us decarbonize and address what we need to address when it comes to climate change. So if there's any takeaway, I want people to know that. That kind of innovation, it's been happening for 400 years right here. It continues to happen and it continues to evolve right here in Massachusetts. It's something we're very proud of, and it's something that our administration is leaning into. I am so grateful to be able to work with incredible people in this administration. I want to begin by acknowledging our Secretary of Economic Development, who you'll hear from, Yvonne Howe. Yvonne and her team, Under Secretary Ashley Stoba, our Deputy Under Secretary Gabby Goldstein, have been leading the charge on economic development in the state, including helping us to file our recent Mass Leads Act, which makes a huge investment in climate tech. I also want to thank Secretary of Energy and Environmental Affairs, Rebecca Tepper, for her work in partnership. Our CEO of the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center, Emily Reichert, for her innovation and leadership and all members of our administration. This truly is a team effort. And the way we tackle and solve 
the most significant challenges that we confront as a nation and as a world is by this kind of leadership. Our clean energy center, our economic development, our energy and environmental affairs teams, all working together in partnership with a legislature who understands it, in partnership with municipal officials, in partnership with organizations like The Engine, you know, helping to seed so much in terms of investment and innovation. So today is a special day. I just saw something very special. The making of decarbonized steel, green steel. It's possible. It's possible. You know, the modern world we know is built from steel. It's a $1.6 trillion industry worldwide. It also generates 8% of CO2 emissions. So this is a truly revolutionary technology. And it's being invented, developed, and demonstrated right here in Woburn. It's a perfect example of how Massachusetts innovators are solving the world's biggest challenges while creating jobs and opportunities here. It's also why climate technology, climate innovation, is central to our goals for economic development and growth in this great state. The Mass Leads Act is all about strengthening our innovation leadership and creating great jobs and growth in the process. It will invest in every sector of our economy and in every region. It will also do other things to shore up our leadership in life sciences and to do more work in applied AI. But this climate tech, this climate innovation, I talk to governors all over the country. I can tell you there is no state better positioned to lead when it comes to climate tech and innovation than Massachusetts. We have the special sauce of research, of developers. We're number one per capita in venture funding. People understand the importance the, of, of addressing climate through innovation and through technology. We've got the talent. We've got the workforce partnerships. We've got the educational institutions and the workforce pipelines. We also have a lot of folks who know how to commercialize something and scale something up. So this is our next big mission as a state, climate tech and climate innovation. Massachusetts will lead, and the country and the world will be better for it. Other states are also competing. California, New York, Colorado, Texas, West Virginia, they're investing, and they're looking to invest more. But we want us, Massachusetts, to win. This is ambitious, but this is what we do in Massachusetts. We celebrate our innovators, we invest in them, and we build a kind of better future together. I now want to bring up our fabulous Secretary of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, who has come to state government new this year and has set the state uh, ablaze with all her innovation and energy and connections and engagement with various industries, including this one that she and I and Emily and Rebecca and Ashley all believe very, very much in. So here to talk a little bit more with you is Secretary Yvonne Howe. Thank you so much, Governor, for all of your leadership and inspiration and support. And uh, everyone who knows me knows I talk a lot about Team Massachusetts and I wear my bracelet all the time. Um, I am so grateful and proud to be here today because this is the best of Team Massachusetts at work. We have our incredible legislators, our partners in the State House. We have our incredible local team, our mayor. We have incredible investors. And I will just brag for one moment. Um, before coming into the state, I had an entire career in the private sector, including at a very small startup. Katie Ray at The Engine was our first angel investor, and we would not have survived without her constant guidance and wisdom and encouragement. So you have an awesome partner here, and we are, we're so grateful to have The Engine here. Um, and amazing companies and scientists, and like Boston Metal, and, uh, and our amazing cabinet with Secretary Tepper and our amazing quasis with, with Emily here at the, C the Clean Energy Center. So we have an awesome team, Massachusetts. Um, and I was here for the first time a year ago, and I was blown away. It's one of my favorite visits that I've had because actually, how many people here have ever been in a traditional steel factory? So maybe unknown fact about me, I uh, went to graduate school and, uh, as, for economics, and I did my dissertation for my master's degree on steel factories in China. So in, 19, I'm very old. So in 1990, 
uh, six, I went to China and spent time at Engang and Baogang. Have you been there? Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you've been to Engang or Baogang, especially in 1996 in China, um, let me just describe what that looks like to you. You walk into, it's an entire steel town. It's a huge site. When you start getting close to the town, you know you're nearing there because you can't see anymore. The air is completely polluted with soot. When you step out of the car, you're kind of covered and you start to cough because you can't breathe. Then you go inside the facility and there's tons of people running around. The amount of sewage, the amount of smoke, the amount of coal being burnt to make steel is really <laughs> quite disturbing. And that was in 1996. And steel, as we know, is still the, the ingredient that goes into everything we do. It goes into all of our cars. Even our electric vehicles are made with steel. It goes into our bridges. It goes into so much of what we, uh, what we do in construction and economic growth. And the technology has not changed for hundreds of years, probably since 1640, when it was started here first in Massachusetts. I was blown away when I came last year because this is a transformative technology and it, and it reflects the best of Massachusetts. Our scientists coming out of our amazing universities, combined with our investors, combined with all of the talent here, to now make steel that is essentially, Guillaume was telling me, it's 99% less emissions than traditional steel. This is transformative. The impact it's going to have on the 1.8 million tons of steel being produced you know, per year is remarkable. And so we are so proud and so grateful. And uh, what's amazing to me is I was here only a year ago. A lot has changed since then even. So you guys have raised almost $300 million in additional capital to scale. You've built, the last time I was here, we were meeting with um, the governor of Minas Gerais in Brazil. Um, we had delicious pande queijo. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and, and we we're talking about this new plant in that, in that state in Brazil. And now I think you're well underway there. And um, Time Magazine recently came out with their top 250 climate tech companies in the country. We have 28. We were the second biggest state. Uh, so California, we're gonna catch up to you, but we have 28 of them. And Boston Metal is the second highest ranked uh, company on that list. So we are so proud. Congratulations. But as the, as the governor said, we are living in competitive times. And this is not the time or place for us to kind of just rest and hang out and just coast. And uh, Tadeo was just telling us, you know, he's trying to make the, the right decisions to help Boston Metal be a global leader from here in Massachusetts. And lots of other states are competing, lots of other countries are competing. This is the time for Massachusetts to lead again and to continue to lead for many generations. Just like we did 250 years ago, just like we did in 1640, we need to make the important investments now to support our amazing innovations and companies to, ex to grow and expand and succeed and to do it for good. That's what we do in Massachusetts. JFK said it. We don't do things that are easy. We're not here to make a quick buck. We're here to solve big, important problems around fighting climate change, around curing disease, around education, around making the world a better place. And in the meantime, while we do that, creating awesome jobs and opportunities for everybody in the Commonwealth and for everyone in every region. So that's what we do in Massachusetts. And that's why this Mass Leads Act that the governor talked about and filed is so important. It's a billion dollars for climate tech to ensure that awesome innovators and awesome companies like Boston Metal can stay here, expand here, and succeed here, and do all this good from here in our state. So we're really grateful, so proud, and we're very excited to partner with our legislative friends to make sure that we get this Mass Leads Act passed. But go Team Massachusetts, go Team Woburn, and go Team Boston Metal. Congratulations. It is uh, an incredible moment for us at uh, Boston Metal, uh, and I want to uh, compliment the governor, and uh, by doing so, I compliment all the authorities and friends uh, here today with us. Uh, I am a lucky man, a lucky person to represent uh, the more than 150 families who work here and make this happen. So, so I'm, I'm the only one who is more or less. Everybody else is a giant here, and it's, it's such a pleasure to represent them and thank you for the privilege of having you here visiting us today. Uh, we applaud effusively uh, the Mass uh, Leads Act. Uh, it, is, it is about talent. It is about people. It is about retaining, creating talent, and that's what that act will do as well. Uh, the, the economic growth will be a consequence, a positive consequence, 
but creating and retaining uh, the talent is, is the bottleneck. The more talent you have, the more things you can do. As simple as that. And we are super proud of having a very diverse family at Boston Metal. And that's, that's super important. So the only common denominator is talent. So, and, 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 and it's so refreshing to see that, and I was lucky enough to, to, to see that happening over the six years, going from six people, I was number six, uh, to more than 150. So, uh, steel is the most important economic, uh, most important engineering material, and there is no economy, no infrastructure without steel. So, we, Manuf I mean, Massachusetts is the first in everything. It, it, it wouldn't be different with steel. So, six, <laughs> 1640 some, uh, we produced the first steel in, in America, as the governor uh, uh, mentioned. And, uh, and we have now the chance to build on that legacy and deliver the first green steel. Our technology is the only one that can scale up and solve the problem that steel represents. So we are super excited with the technology and we are uh, super proud of the team that is working on it. But that's not all. The technology also allows us to be more efficient. There is one thing that nobody in this room will know is how much mining waste exists in the world. And this technology can pull value from mining waste. And we are doing that as well. So it's, it's a super important thing in a time that we are consuming two planets when we have only one. So efficiency is super important. So that technology brings that as well. So we are super happy. I could go on and on forever here. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I don't want to bore you to that. I, I can't thank you enough for coming here, visiting us, and, and sharing your time with us. And, uh, and I would love to ask Katie Ray to say a couple of words, because she's been with us since the beginning, and it's, it's our fairy. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, today. Okay, so I just have two things that, like, so many incredible things were already said, but there are a couple that I think are really important. Number one, you know, this company spun out of MIT. MIT is a very important university, but all our universities, think about what happens at UMass Lowell, think about what happens at Northeastern. That is such a core factor in our ability to think really, really big and invest in companies like this and then grow them here. So like, I love that. And the reason Tadeo is here, and we are so lucky to have him as the CEO, is that he came to teach. He was like, I'm gonna kind of semi-retire and teach. Within six months, he was working 100 hours a week <laughs> trying to pull this company up by its bootstraps. So it is, it is that, and then I don't think we could be luckier with our team Massachusetts, our governor, our secretaries, the whole legislature, and the fact that we are gonna push into clean tech and really grow these industries here. I could not be happier for us because I think we will lead the world and we are leading the world. So today, I am the luckiest person to serve on your board and to be you know, along for this incredible ride. And thank you all for being here. Katie. Thank you, Tadea. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, everybody. Um, terrific. We're happy to take questions on topic. Otherwise, we'll convene. We're good? We're going to take a photo. Yeah, with the team. Yeah, we got some. Great. <laughs>